Hello everyone, we will continue the topic and we are in this particular video, we will talk about the rest of the status. Before we jump on to the rest of the status, I will show you BAPI Explorer or I will show you the BAPI transaction code because we studied that we can check the BAPIs in the BAPI Explorer or BAPI transaction code. And you have to tell me at this point of time, the BAPI is available or not. Because as of now, the status is implemented. Status is not released yet. So what I will do? I will simply go to BAPI transaction code which is a transaction code for BAPI Explorer, Explorer. So you can check the BAPIs into BAPI transaction code or you can say BAPI Explorer, BAPI Explorer. Go to alphabetical tab. There you will check. I will just scroll. Now, here the most important point here you will not get Z employee. You will get the name employee, employee because I already told you that external identification of business object is vital, vital, extremely important. So we will not be able to find this name. We will be able to find this name, this name. So we will see as of now, as of now, employee is there or not. We will see. You can see one employee is there, but here E in capital, rest are in small. You can see. But what is our business object name? Full capital. This is the most, most important point that your object name is case sensitive. Case sensitive. Our full object name is in capital. Capital, yes. Here we have small and you can just expand and check. Is it your one? No, this is not our one. Our, our method name is create, but this is something else. So just make sure, yes, it is extremely important point that whatever the business object name, external identification you are giving, it is case sensitive. Now, as of now, it is not available in BAPI transaction code because the status is not released. Now we will release and see, yes, is it coming into this transaction code or not? Now, what we will do, I will firstly click on to this component or you can click on to this. We will firstly release the business object. Then we will release the business object component. So firstly, we will release the business object. I will put the cursor, edit, change release status, object type. We are going for released. Just see what the difference will come. You will find a tick button here. Tick means it is released. Edit, change release status, object type to released. Okay. Okay. Are you able to see a tick button? Yes. Now, if I will double click, you can see what is the status. Status is released. So our business object is released. Many people will confuse why the object type is written. Object type is the internal name of the business object. Now, I will release this. I will click, put the cursor here. Edit, change release status, object type component. Now I will make it as released and you will see a tick button here. Change release status, object type component to released. Are you able to see a tick button? Yes. Now I will double click and you can see the status is released. Now I will come on to the answer first. Maximum people ask, if we have status for this, why we are going for individual status? 
just simply compare it to real world as of now we only only take the create employee suppose we have one more method change employee we have one more method display employee we have one more method suppose get detail employee now we have four function modules we have four methods is it necessary that all four should we give it to external world no if we are if we want that external system can only only get the access of two then we can have a further further restriction to restrict at the component level we will release this yes we will release this but in this particular thing also customer and external system will get the access of only specific things that's why we have two level status if you release this yes it's done but under that also we have a specific restriction suppose we have 10 10 function modules but we only want that the external system is getting the access of only five function module rest are for internal then what we have to do for the five we will only keep the status implemented for the five we will make the status release if there is no option of status at the component level then what will happen the external system will get the access of each and everything that is not our real world we should we should only pass the restricted things to the external system that's why we have a provision of status at the two level now now people will ask you released now will it be visible in the bapi transaction code we will see important point will come i will refresh i will just make it scroll are you able to see employee here see we have employee if we will see employee still it is not visible now the most important part will come we have not generated generated see everything is released but people will miss that part they will not generate after generate only you will be able to see into bapi or bapi explorer now i am clicking on to generate button now it is saying yes object type generated successfully now you will be able to see that now if i will go for refresh now so many important learnings will come at this point of time so generation of business object is compulsory after that only it will be visible in the bapi transaction code now see is it visible yes it is visible now if i will expand this now see i am not able to see this name i am able to see this name which is the external identification because maximum people check this name no it is internal identification this is external identification now just see in this do we have a method create do we have a component create yes and see how it will help you click on to create click on to create this is your method this is your business object this is the name of the business object external identification of the business object is this the function module is this the function module business object function module how do these two things mapped through the method and is the status is released yes the status is released if you click on to this you will get more information this is external identification this is internal identification of business object each and every information is there each and every information now if you want to read the theory of the bapi simply i will go to this documentation i'll go to simply project and just see whatever we did previously everything is studied from there itself suppose simple 
we define the structures and you can see it's clearly saying your data structure should start with namespace BAPI. Have we followed that thing? Yes, we followed that thing. So they gave each and every documentation. Suppose we'll go for simple example. We created the function module. Have we followed the naming conventions? Yes, BAPI underscore business object name underscore method name. Have we done all those things? Yes, everything is there. Every documentation is available here itself. So now our BAPI is ready. Now the external system can get the access of this. So in the next video, we will go for few more important points. But what we studied in this particular video, in this video, we studied about the release status and absolute status. Absolute status, anyways, we have not done. If you are going for absolute status, it means it cannot be used. So we change the status to the released. After released only, your BAPI will be available in the BAPI Explorer or BAPI transaction code. After changing the status also to released, it is not available there. Once you generate, after that only it will be visible there. Then we make a full understanding why the status SAP gave at the two level. Because it might be the case we do not want the access of all components to the external system. It means the status should be at two level. Business object level and business object component level. Now in the next video. We will go for further, further understanding. And we saw each and everything in the BAPI transaction code. Whatever we did, everything is available here. In the next video, we will cover a few more important points. That's it in this video. Thank you.